Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So here we've got a, um, a graph of uh, y equals the natural log of x. So that's this graph here. Uh, looking, looking at the purple area, we are going to revolve this 360 along, uh, along the, uh, the x equals minus 2 axis. That's this axis here. So, so looking at the purple area, if you rotate it 360 along this axis, you will trace out a 3D solid. Work out the volume of that 3D solid. And remember, it's from from uh, from one all the way to uh, to e. Okay. So uh, so so if you revolve this 360 along this axis here, you're going to trace out a 3D solid. Work out the volume of that 3D solid. So press pause and have a go. Okay. So to do this, we're going to sum up all the shells. So we're going to sum up all the shells. If you look at this, let's choose this random. Uh, shell here. The thickness associated with this shell here is uh, dx. So you know the volume. You know the volume will equal uh, something dx because you're you're summing up you're summing up all the shells from from one all the way to all the way to e. So uh, so you so your your integral will look something like this. And um, and if uh, we 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 need to know the radius here. We need to know this radius, uh, and then later on we can two pi r it to get the circumference. Okay, so so we need to know this this radius here. Well, the radius will be the radius will be this distance here, plus. Uh, so remember, we're summing up this all the shells here. Let's just look at this one particular one. Uh, uh, we, we are now looking at this one particular one. We need to know the radius from from here to here. Well, from here to here is two. Uh, and then, uh, and then, and then from here to here is whatever x may be. So, uh, so our our radius is really uh, two would would really be x plus two. That's our radius. Then, then we would need to get the uh, the circumference. So we would need to two pi r it. So two pi r here will give us the the circumference of the cylinder. And then we need to times the the height. We need to times this height here. Well, the height here. Is given by uh, the the height the height here is given by this, so it will be this natural log of x, and then don't forget we're moving in the x direction from one to e. So this this is our formula for the volume. If, if you rotate it, if you rotate this purple area here 360 degrees along along this axis, the volume will be given by this. Will be given by this. So so two pi r here is our is our circumference, so that's our circumference. But then the the height of our our cylinder, the height of our cylinder or shell is uh, is given by this. So the height here is given by natural log of x. Well, the volume is given by this whole thing here. So now we just need to integrate this. This here is a constant. So let's just take it out. That will then give you this. So now looking at this, we will need to use um, we we will use to, we we will need to use integration by parts. So imagine this as being one block, one block here. Um, you don't really want to integrate this. Uh, so set, so differentiate it. So set it to u, and then set this here to be v prime. Well, use integration by parts on this bit. So that, uh, so let's use integration by parts. So let um, let v prime equals uh, this thing here. So if v prime equals this, then then integrate it. It will give you normal v. Uh, if you uh, if you set this to be the natural log, uh, differentiate it, it will give you this. So u equals this. Now blindly follow this. So it's saying get u times v. It's saying get u times v here. So that will be um, that that will be uh, x squared over two plus two x times this thing here, natural log of x. Uh, and then it's saying take away take away the integral. From one to, uh, don't forget this thing here. We are because it's um, because we are evaluating it. We we will need to evaluate it from uh, from one to e, and then uh, and then this bit here is saying get u prime times v. It's saying get u prime times v. Put this into here, and then you've got your dx here, and then this whole thing here will then become this. Will then become this. Will then become this, and then and then now um, now we we need to evaluate this. 
well evaluating this is really us putting the evaluating this is really us doing this get this and then take away this with, with the one here okay so so evaluating this would be us doing this put this into here into here into here so so we remember uh, natural log of e is uh, is really one okay so this is multiplying by one so in a way you can pretty much forget about this well put it into here into here uh, and then into here that will then give you this and then we need to take away now take away put one into here into here into here natural log of one is zero so the whole thing here would be zero that's this zero here and then you've got your take away take away uh, and then and then now tidy this up so that will then give you this so now we need to uh, to integrate this so hang on so that will then take us to here and then then now we need to uh, to now we need to get this thing take away this thing here okay so that will then take us to this and then now the rest is just blah 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 tidy everything up and the overall answer will be will be this okay